Hello, good morning and welcome. <clears throat> it's the 22nd of June and uh, we start as ever with the AUD USD. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you for all the likes and um, subscriptions, do appreciate it. Thank you. Um, AUD USD. Uh, we're coming down now onto support and uh, the, uh, the AUD struggling a little bit. It sort of bounced back up last night and uh, I'm expecting it just to sort of maybe take it take a day or so just to get over this before it continues its way down. Uh, obviously, we've gone a little bit flat on the RSI. Uh, so um, anyway, I'm expecting that to short. We've got um, what I expect was when we got up here on the 76 mark uh, that the commercials will have come in quite heavy. So uh, when we get to Friday, I'm expecting the position here to change and we will see a lot more shorts being added. <clears throat> Euro dollar, um, <clears throat> it's down onto support. Uh, it doesn't seem to have <clears throat> enough power at the moment to push through it, but I think over the, the next couple of days it will. <clears throat> and we'll see the uh, Euro dollar going uh, much lower. Thank you, we are heavily short on the commitment of traders on the euro. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, euro Japanese yen. Uh, we've, we've had a, a little bit uh, of a, an upstart in this. It started coming back down. Um, <clears throat> I don't, I'm not at all worried about this pair. I, I see little or no upside left in it. Um, I put another trade in at the top there. Uh, I really want this to, to, to shoot down and uh, if, if it comes down to support I'm going to cash in and uh, see if I can ride it, this snake that it's been doing. So um, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, silver <clears throat> has a little bit of bounce today, uh, a weakness on the dollar. Um, it's come back up to this resistance here which is, um, let me just see, yeah, this, this is like an old uh, minor turning point here, um, go a bit further back, yeah, so um, <clears throat> I, uh, I'm kind of tempted to get back in. <laughs> I'll leave it a couple more hours, see what happens, but I'm, I'm really tempted to get back in here. If it doesn't break this uh, resistance, I'm really tempted to get back into the silver here. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've got to live a little bit when you get to my age, you know. <laughs> right, uh, oil, this has done fabulously well. Yeah, it's just kept going down and down and down. Yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Um, there's, there's talk now of uh, 30, uh, going down to 30. I, I'm really being interested in the commitment of traders uh, on Friday. Uh, but the oil is below the 30.9. As long as it holds that position, this is going to continue going down. So, um, you know, get in. <laughs> Out of JPY. Uh, I'm just into profit on this. Uh, I reckon this has got quite a long way to go. Uh, I'm heavily bearish of the Australian dollar and I'm heavily bullish of the Japanese yen. So uh, this is gonna, this I feel is gonna be a fabulous trade. Uh, the SP500, um, it's about its entry on the weekly. But if you look at the daily, we've had uh, one, two, uh, two down candles and now we've got this uh, little spinning top thing at the bottom but uh, you know I'm, I'm quite hopeful that this might just um, go a little bit more to the downside especially as the oil goes down so uh, you know um, I, I would really like to see this crash uh, I've said it before that you know but um, there we go uh, moving on quickly we go on to the <clears throat> New Zealand US dollar. Um, I've actually entered this short. Um, we've had a little bit of a, a strength in the New Zealand dollar. Uh, they held their uh, interest rates um, 
and uh, we, we saw a little bit of strength last night. Uh, I've uh, come into it. Um, I'm short the New Zealand dollar, US dollar. So um, hopefully that's going to do well for me. That there is a I, I, this is only about four or five hundred pips uh, down here. So we'll see what happens with that anyway. And also we will see how expensive it is on swaps to trade. Um, USD Canadian dollar. Well, yeah, it, it actually it's uh, it beat this support here and it's gone down to the second support that I put in here, and now now it's climbing back up. <clears throat> uh, the oil price is going to slip. The um, the Canadian dollar is going to fall with it, and uh, the uh, US dollar is going to climb. Uh, famous last words. Uh, <laughs> You can never guarantee anything in Forex, but uh, this looks like a really good trade to me. Um, uh, I, I've still got my long position there. Um, so, yes, uh, we, we'll see how it goes, but um, I, I think that's going to be a fairly good trade. Uh, Euro GBP, um, I'm about at entry. Um, uh, I see quite a lot of uh, downside to this. Um, I, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't come down to this uh, 84 level. Um, uh, it's not an expensive trade in swaps. So, um, you know, I, I'm going to be hanging on to this. I, I can see little or no upside to it. Uh, the commitment to trade is a heavily bearish the euro. And, uh, well, this swipe slightly longer the pound on the US dollar. So I, I think that's going to be quite a good trade. Pound New Zealand dollar, uh, same thing. Um, I'm expecting the New Zealand dollar to short and I'm expecting the pound to long. Uh, I've already got two small trades in, in here. I'm not going to add any more. Um, so uh, that will come. I, I'm positive this is going to come good for me. Uh, that's going to be over the next two or three weeks. So uh, I'll be hanging on to those. USD, uh, Japanese Yen. We're short the pair. Um, I took this trade out about three or four days ago. Um, it's gone slightly against me and it's now coming back down. Um, I'm expecting to see more strength in the Yen. And um, yeah, I think it's going to outrun the, uh, the US dollar. So uh, I, I'm definitely a, a bear of uh, USD, JPY. USD Mexican peso, a little bit of a red candle this morning. Um, I've got a trade in close to the bottom here. Uh, I, I'm at just about 18 something or other, 18.3. Um, so um, the RSI has gone a bit flat. Um, I'm looking for more strength in the US dollar and weakness in the peso. Uh, we had a uh, large short position um on the uh, on the peso uh, last friday and um, i am expecting that to have extended this friday so um as long as i get an extension on that on friday i, I will be buying pullbacks but you've got to be careful with this pair it's cost me dear on swaps i, I you know i must say um uh, yeah <laughs> anyway uh, I'll be looking at that closely on Friday. Okay, well, thank you all for watching. Much appreciated. And um, uh, see you all tomorrow. Cheers now. Bye.